Now world wolf of is run test. This test is used to check the randomness in a given sequence or in a given sample. World wolf of is run test which is non-parametric test. So the null and alternate hypothesis for this test is H0. The given sample is in random. H1 alternative hypothesis the given sample is not in random now test that is to find number of runs the given question is listed in as per order of the occurrence if observation is less than the previous one mark negative sign if given observation is more than the previous one mark positive sign for example 49, 52, 31 and 36, 4 numbers are given. Compare 49 and 52. Here 49 is less than 52. Therefore put plus sign on 52. Then compare 52 and 31. 31 is less than 52. Then put negative sign on 31. 31 and 36, 36 is greater than 31. Put positive sign on 36. These are how to assign signs. Now for critical value, we have to calculate lower critical value and upper critical value at 5% significant level. If R lies between upper value and lower value, then we reject H0. Sorry, accept H0. Otherwise, reject at 5% significance level which means accept H0 if R lies between upper critical value and lower critical value. Lower one is mu minus 1.96 sigma is less than equals to R less than equals to mu plus 1.96 sigma. If this holds good then accept H0 otherwise reject. Mu and alpha sigma can be calculated by this formula. Now let's do one example. Now question is data on the values of imports of Corona vaccines production in India in million dollars in last one year is given below. Is the sequence is in random? We have to check the randomness of given sequence or given sample. Let H0 as per theory. Sequence is in random. So our null hypothesis is sequence is in random as per theory of the run test. Now from 25 to 56. Total number of units or total number of observations are n equals to 26. No calculate run means we have to put positive or negative sign as per theory. If given value is greater than previous one then put positive sign. If given value is less than previous one put negative sign. Then positive negative positive negative ne positive positive negative positive and positive now we have to calculate runs means sequence of events plus means one event negative sign means one event these are sequence of events which is called run One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. We have total seventeen runs, which means R equals to seventeen. Now, by theory part, first we have to calculate 
mu mu for critical values mu equals to 2n minus 1 by 3 here n equals to 26 so 2 into 26 minus 1 by 3 which is approximately or exactly equals to 17 for next calculate sigma the formula for sigma is under root 16 n minus 29 by 90 put n equals to 26 in given formula we get approximate value for sigma is 2.074 so mu equals to 17 and sigma equals to 2.074 now we will calculate lower critical value and upper critical value now mu minus 1.96 sigma is less than equals to r is less than equals to mu plus 1.96 sigma if this holds good then we will accept h naught otherwise reject by putting the values values of mu and sigma we get here r equals to 17 we have total 17 runs in our sequence runs are sequence of events is less than equals to mu equals to again 17 plus 1.96 into sigma which is uh, 2.074 by calculating all these calculations we get 12.935 is less than equals to 17 is less than equals to 21.065 which is true this inequality holds good or true which means we can accept h naught as r values lies between upper critical value and lower critical value which means our null hypothesis is true or sequence is in random the given sample 